Today, I have something really cool, an exoskeleton. Well, a partial lower body exoskeleton my friends at Enhanced Robotics are co-founding on Kickstarter. They're calling it the Sport Mayfi. Now, it does come with a lot of caveats. This is very early days for this kind of tech, but I'll get into that in a minute. Right now, let me unbox it, try it on, and I'll explain what I know about it while I do. Now, there are a few kind of counterintuitive things about this. First of all, my friends at Enhanced Robotics are very clear that the Sport Mayfi is not an accessibility or a medical device. It's designed to be used for sport or to assist in exercise. Personally, I'm more interested in the accessibility aspects and would have liked someone who needed that and can access that to a wheel with me. But I think there are a lot of regulatory and certification issues with marketing anything as a medical device. So I understand why they are avoiding that. So if your question is, would this help with a given disability? I'd say my answer is no, it's not designed for it. So probably not safe to use in that way, but it is a step in the right direction. The Sport Mayfi helps exclusively with hip flexion and extension, the muscles you use to squat or do a knee raise. Unfortunately, these arm muscles that are usually the weak point in the chain. So it basically either helps me raise my leg up or help me push it down. All right, let's turn it on. Hold the red button for around three seconds. You hear a beep, now it's on. You can see there is a gap between my waist and the bell. We can fill in some air through the button here, also on the left side. Just hold it for a couple of seconds until you feel about right. And then just let it go. And uh, now we are in the outdoor mode there are, there are two modes one is GEM for exercise assist and one is the outdoor mode for going upstairs and going downstairs let's turn to our right side you see there is a plus and, and minus button now uh, this is in power mode it, the, this two we can increase it and we can lower the power by uh, pressing the minus button and if we want to increase the power we press the plus button and now is now we can activate it okay let's try it out this video is made possible by the generous support of jlc pcb china's largest pcb manufacturer with jlc you can have your pcb manufactured in under 24 hours all while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel. As most of you know, I went a townhouse way on the outskirts of Shenzhen, so I have room for my workshop studio. It was pretty sad when I got it, and it's still drafty in the winter and leaks when it rains, but I've been able to fix it up a bit at a time. Now, I ran out one floor since having house space is a lot safer than living alone and it helps cover expenses in months when sponsorship money is a little tight. They've set up a little home gym here and while I don't like to exercise, I figure I'd follow it to see if the sport may find makes any kind of difference. Don't laugh. I never lift weights and I'm not one of those strong sporty Chinese girls. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to try a few rack squats without any assistance.
Okay, let's turn uh, the power is all the way up. Let's try it again. It's a little easier too, but I'm not convinced. Let's try another exercise. Okay, let's try some bell squats without assistance. And now let's turn the power on. In this one, <laughs> wait, actually, uh, I think without power is better. <laughs> Maybe this is more for hiking. Let me go outside and see what I can find. It's good for climbing, but it falls off my walking a little bit. Okay, final verdict. Boy, this is a tough one. I want to love it. I really do. It's really very well built. And we desperately need this kind of tech commercialized. But in healthy adults, hip flexion and extension support and assistance without providing the same for knees just doesn't get you very far. Hips are strong and seldom the weak point in a chain compared to lower back and knees and easily exercised by conventional means. Assisting you in lifting your leg up, that's just not a common point of fatigue. It provides modest assistance to the strongest 
at most injury resistant muscles in your body instead of stabilizing and supporting the weakest. If you are a huge fan of this kind of tech and can afford to play around, sure, it's a lot of fun. But if you are looking for a high level of functionality out of the box, I hate to say it, but it's just not cost effective. It is a beautifully made unit though. So I hope they build on it and bring something a little better for out to the market. That's it for today. Please remember to click the bell icon next to subscribe to turn notifications on. A lot of people are missing my updates. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.